हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो वेरी वेरी इजी और आई वुड से लेजी मेथड ऑफ सिंपल एंड इफेक्टिव removal of grade 2 cataract so in this cases there are few uh, prerequisites like you have to get a good hydro dissection and before that you should have a adequate size uh, capsule rexis and i think that is something many surgeons in the beginning of their career have difficulties with so they tend to make very small capsule rexis and if the capsulex is small this technique can still be done but it's always easy if you have a 5 mm capsulex so here i was going with the capsulex forceps and here you can see it was going little bigger so i readjusted and then i completed the rexis the hydro dissection is very very important here the hydro dissection should be little bit forceful so after initial waves you can continue to push some more fluid if you get hydro delineations as well it will shrink the size of the nucleus as well so that becomes easy and i am going to use here very high flow rate and on panel mode so it works like a venturi though the machine is peristaltic and you can see the vacuum is 350 to 550 here because i have centurion i am going to use torsional energy on a linear fashion i am going to use maximum of 60 so i don't need more than this for grade 2 cataract and here the most important thing is the application of the fecal power you can see i am applying it at the periphery of this nucleus which is most important because if you go into the central part of the nucleus you have to chop the nucleus and that is something i don't want so i i'm just going to apply this fecal energy at the anterior pole there and at the periphery so once i start removing this peripheral part of the nucleus you can see the nucleus becomes smaller and smaller and i can easily emulsify it and uh, using high vacuum so when we use very high vacuum the requirement of feco energy is also minimal and we can finish off uh, this uh, nucleus which is grade 2 so it's not a very soft cataract as you can see but still i could easily do feco aspiration here using little energy so the cd used was hardly around 6 which is very small so prerequisite of 5 mm ccc hydroprolapse of one pole of nucleus and high fluidic but it's a very reproducible and safe technique i think next time you go in the or you do try it thank you